All right, welcome. It's time. It is time for another Student of the Gun Radio episode number 1167. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, we got a Duracoat Finish Fire on Brownells. We got a, a crossbreed homeroom bit. Bot tongue talk about being dangerous on demand and how you probably should do that and be ready. And then uh, we got a follow up to a previous discussion. We previously talked about how the, uh, the left wing. Democrat lunatic idiots of the world decided that they're going to blame gas station owners for crime in Philadelphia. It's not the criminals, and it's not the soft on crime DA, and it's not the the criminal enabling Democrats. No, it's the gas stations owners. It's, it's their fault. Well, apparently, one guy in Philadelphia who owns a gas station was listening, and he said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and fix that. So uh, we're going to talk about the fix that he came up with. And uh, cat in the hat, and that be that. So play the music and Wait, let's get no, going. No, no, nope. don't play it yet. I have a don't pro play. tip for everybody listening right now because this is the public. I'm going to let you know that if you have a home office that you work from and you're on video meetings quite often, my pro tip for you is to have a standing desk. And the reason being is because if you show up without pants on, you can't stand no up no. and people will won't see if you have a standing desk you can just you can move about freely but if you have a sitting desk and you don't have pants on uh, if you stand up people will know that's great and if you let's not talk about that there was just another zoom meeting did you see it jeff shared it on he said no. i think it was a situational awareness but guy was on a zoom meeting yep i know this and, one and he's he got up and walked away and everyone in the meeting's like, where's Jim going? And he, and he came back with Jergens and a box of Kleenex. And he started taking his pants off. And the people on the Zoom meeting were screaming. And apparently he had closed that screen out and he had a different screen up. Oh. <laughs> See, that's ah. what I'm saying. Standing desk. Ah. Ah. Oh, that's not right. All right. Let's, let's go ahead and play the music. Welcome to Student of the Gun Radio, proudly brought to you from the SDS Import Studio. If you want quality that's affordable, visit sdsimports.com. We don't just talk guns and gear, we also discuss current events and politics, because guns are politics. Now sit back and listen louder to your co-host, CEO of Full 30, Jared Markle, and your beloved host, the pimp hand of America, Professor Paul Markle. Yes, indeed. And before we get going any farther, I just want to let you guys know, if you're not in the grad program and you don't listen to the bonus hours, you really missed out on uh, a thorough, very thoughtful discussion that we had on Friday. Like Friday was a brain burner. We had some we were doing some serious braining uh, um, on Friday. And that's that's why we were yes we yes yes that's we why. do that we do do that we do 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 that so uh, all right if you are in the Discord and you can be in the Discord or you should join us I know that it's the holiday season hey look it's not me this is the way things are every year every single year you know I like the holidays you like the holidays um, but it becomes hectic. So our schedule for recording and production is a bit off. So just, hey, that's just the way the world is. is, man. Tis the season. But if if you want to join us on Discord, go to studentofthegun.com slash Discord, follow the instructions, and be there. All right. And if you are in Discord and you have a question, go ahead and answer it or ask it. (laughs) Go ahead and answer it yourself. Uh, But we're going to do a Duracoat Finish Firearm segment. So there you go. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Duracode Finish Firearms. Uh, the reason I'm going to bring this up is because, uh, well, a lot of you guys probably wondered, can I do Duracoat in the cold? And it's kind of a yes, no. It is cold out in most of the country right now. The, it's, it's kind of a yes, no. It has to be warmer than 32 degrees Fahrenheit. 
right? It has to be warmer than freezing. Now, Duracoat is not negatively affected by cold. As a matter of fact, when Duracoat is produced and is bottled, it is stored in the cold. Matter of fact, if you if you are a Duracoat, and this is one of the tricks, if you went to the Duracoat University, you know this. Uh, you can store Duracoat in a refrigerator, and it'll last forever. It'll it'll forever and ever, you know. But uh, so, but if you want to apply it, you want your area, whether it's a garage, a workshop, or whatever, uh, to be warmer than thirty two degrees. You don't want it to be uh, below freezing, right? But so the truth is, if you can fire your garage up and get it up to 40 degrees in December or January or whatever, then you're good to go. The, the most important thing is to have your Duracoat, whether it's can and can technology or whether it's the mix or whatever, to have it above freezing. Uh, and uh, do you know that uh, the, the, uh, the new garage, Jared, has a heater? Oh, nice. Yes, it has a heater. It has a, a propane-fueled heater. Yeah, buddy. Oh, the big square one. Yeah. Yep. So uh, it has a propane-fueled heater. So that That's is a good the thing. That's good so stuff. We'll be able to work in the garage this winter and not freeze. And not freeze. So the answer for you know this winter, if you're thinking, well, I do a Duraco project, but it's too cold, and I'm not going to go out in the garage or the workshop or the whatever because it's cold, you can. You just need to be able to heat it up to more than 32 degrees. You know, if you can get your garage workshop area up into the 40s um, and have the Duraco product itself up into the 40s or whatever. Um, of course, you could keep the Duraco in your house or warm it up. But there you go. That is your and then let me see da, 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 the T Rex. Uh, and if you if you want to be the coolest guy, if you want to own essentially the the gun people's version of the Batmobile, uh, the T Rex is still for sale as of today. So check that out. Check that out. And if you go to the trade shows, if you go to if you're planning on going to the shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show, uh, make sure that you stop by the Duracoat booth and tell them that. Well, tell them that student of the gun sent you. Yeah, uh, there's no way that you did this. Zach did that. <laughs> Zach did that. Was that Zach that did Dura Cold? Yeah. Yes. Must it? Yeah, that's pretty good. It says the notes in the, the show notes that we're looking at right now says Dura Coat. More like Dura Cold. Dura Cold. Yeah, that's right. All right, student of the gun giveaway day twelve. Yeah, SOTGGiveaway.com. Today is the twelfth day as this episode drops. 24 days of giveaways leading up to Christmas. It's the advent calendar giveaway that we do every single year. All of our giveaways can always be found on SOTGGiveaway.com, and this one is no exception. Today's prizes are the One Box Workout, the Arm Living DVD, Dog Tag Survival Card 2-Pack, Fisherman Survival Card, Pocket Constitution, the official SOTG Icon Patch, Pocket Lifesaver Limit Kit. That's the, uh, what is it? Laceration, Laceration minor, 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 minor injury treatment kit. Yeah, that's right. Man, uh, easy for me to say. Martial application of the pistol, martial application of the rifle, martial application of the shotgun, a five-pack of official SOTG skill maintenance targets, and an EDC knuckle carrier. That's right. That now, is cool. Like I said before, but it was on the grad program, so you didn't hear me say it. I said that every day builds upon itself, with the exception of a few different prizes. So... As we get to the end of this thing, there are some bigger prizes that do not continue on the succeeding day, but are succeeding day. Succeeding day. Yeah. But most of these days, everything that I just mentioned will also be given away tomorrow. It gets better and better and better and better. And, better. and, better. and all you have to do is participate. Dot com for all the instructions. There, it's I, I believe there are four steps to enter. So read the instructions very carefully. You and, don't have to have all of the social media platforms. You only need to have the one that you're already on. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's you, it. We had some confusion in the beginning because uh, we didn't do a good enough job at stating the facts. So and, and the facts are now stated in an optimized manner. You can read one, all the instructions there. Well, and yeah. One, exactly to be, what you to be to fair, do. this is the first time we've ever done this. Yes. We've never done it before yeah. in yeah. the history of Student of the Gun. So people were like, I don't know what this is. It's exactly. confusing to me. Yes. And one more statement that we need to make flat out. Do you have to sign up every day? No. Not in the email. No. You sign up one time on SOTGGiveaway.com. 
and all the instructions are there on the page. You have to share the thing on the social media platform that you already have every day. Yeah, there you go. All right, and thank you to Kayla. If you watch the video, uh, the giveaway video hosted by Kayla, who is our... Did she do the wheel she, names? She's our, our wizard uh, behind the scenes who's helping us out. And uh, you guys should like give her a tip of the cap or whatever. Yeah. All right. Uh, Mid-roll sponsor plugs. I'm, I'm going to be Bill Burr here. Let's talk about uh, the... <laughs> what is this? <laughs> If you guys don't know, Bill Burr, literally, he's like Ron Burgundy. He, he reads everything. It says right here on my notes, I'm supposed to do a mid-roll sponsor plug right now. What the, what the, what that's at? I never heard of this company. <laughs> what, what was but that? I, uh, <laughs> Sherry's Berries. Jerry, Sherry, berries. Where no, he was just not making fun of the sponsor that whole time. Yeah. <laughs> but who, someone who we're not going to make fun of because they're amazing is SDS Imports. That's right. SDS Imports, Sierra Delta Sierra Imports, Dadcam, LLC, M-O-U-S-E. Uh, they have a importers of 1911 pistols, shotguns, the T-Sauce pistols, the Takarov shotguns. Magazines, accessories, and more. Uh, they're righteous dudes. It's uh, high quality, high quality guns at a good value. So check those guys out. Uh, shot show attendees. I wonder if they're going to be there. I'm, I'm guessing that they're going to have a booth. It will be uh, there. 2020, uh, 23. If it's the 23 one. If you're listening right now, and you will be there. What you know? Why do people say that? What? Why do I say that? I don't know. If you're listening right now, if they're not listening right now, they wouldn't hear what I'm saying. That's right. Uh, but if you're listening right now, yeah, I know you're, you're going to shot show. <laughs> email info at soon dot com so that uh, send your phone number there, and when we get to shot show, I'll text you. You can meet up. It'll be cool. Yeah. Yeah. List of attendee. List of. Uh, let's see. Do they have that up yet? Uh. Yeah. Probably. Generally, the the shooting, hunting, and outdoor trade show has. They have a list of just of people who are going to display. If we go to shotshow.org, .org. and they're not sponsoring the show, but we're going to be yeah. nice to them. But uh, you go ahead and do that. And I'm going to talk about the uh, highpointfirearms.com, high-pointfirearms.com. And, and I think basically where we're at right now uh, is everyone in the world who's in the firearms industry, they're in... Well, they're just about to go into inventory mode. SDS Imports has a booth. All right. SDS Imports has a booth. 4810. 40810. It's one of the new people booths, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. But if you're there. So our industry is about to go into a, they're, they're going into two things. They do show prep where they prep their booths and they have their meetings and they talk about what they're going to release and blah, blah, blah. And then... They go into inventory time where they shut down and do physical inventory. Right. So that's that's essentially what's happening right now. So I wouldn't look if you're looking for something brand new uh, to January. <laughs> yeah, January. That That's when it's going to happen. Our buddies at High Point will also be at SHOT Show booth 14033. There you go. I'm going to have to relearn the floor. I think I got it. I think I've been going to the sand since whenever they started going to the sand. What happens if we move locations? Yeah. Then well, we're going to have to relearn everything. Well, if they would go back to the, it probably never going to happen now because of the world. But uh, if they, if they did go back to the, the original Las Vegas convention center, it would be great. That would be great. But, uh, the concrete show people, you know what they would do? They would build concrete walls around it because. <laughs> They put barriers. They can. And they're like, no, you yeah. can't have this back. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, so, hey, we didn't talk about this, but those uh, scumbags at, at uh, YouTube. So the scumbags at YouTube, they pulled down our student of the gun episode. Was it one, 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 six, five, Zach? Yeah, I think it was, it was. 1165. One, one, six, five, which is because the dam of lies is breaking. Yeah, so what we did, and this is this is the insane thing about liberal, like this about the big brother mentality. So we 
did a show and we detailed, we gave specific detailed information about the lies, the COVID lies, the lies about the COVID itself, the lies about the vaccine, the lies about masks. We, and we had facts. We're like, here's the fact. This is the lie. Here's the truth. This is the lie. Here's the truth. We, as soon as we posted it, we Google slash YouTube pulled it down. They put a strike on our account. They punished us. They literally punished us for pointing out the lies. We took the time to point out the lies that have been perpetrated on the American people. And the response of Google and YouTube was to remove the video and to punish us for doing that. Yeah. So I say all that to ask you, have you taken the time? Because all it takes is time. It costs you nothing. Have you taken the time to subscribe to our Juxi channel yet? J-U-X-X-I dot com, student of the gun, student of the gun dot com slash Juxi. Go there because the video uh, where we break the lies is, uh, where is that, Zach? Yeah. It should be right there. It's on yeah, Juxi.com. But, but there's so many. There's the gun tattoos one, uh, the mean, AR-15 you, one. If you just go to our channel, it'll be like the second most recent upload. Oh, okay. Okay, the dam of lies is breaking. Yep. The dam of lies is breaking. So we took the time to detail the, the lies that we've been told over the last three years and then the truth behind the lies and the response of YouTube and Google was to remove that and to punish us. That was their response. So if you needed any more information uh, about the Goog what scumbags Google is, uh, you know, Beck has been pointing that out for literally years. He said, look, Google's their plan. And he started like five, six, seven years ago talking about this. Google's plan is to have control over as much information, not just content, but information to have control over information. And then once they have the control over the information to decide what you're allowed to see and read, and then they're going to arbitrarily decide what you're not allowed to read and see. And once they have a monopoly on information, you're, you're, we're, we're screwed. We're screwed. Um, so there you go. So that's why you should go to studentofthegun.com slash Juxi and follow us. It doesn't, it costs you literally nothing but about two minutes of your time. All right, let's go to Brownells and Bullet Points. Brought to you by Brownells after the attention new listeners. Attention new listeners. We produced a complimentary online training course called Seven Training Tips That Could Save Your Life. Get instant access by joining the Student Lounge for free at studentofthegun.com. Do you watch Student of the Gun TV, read the blog, and follow us on Facebook? If you answered no to any of these questions, you are wrong, but you can easily fix yourself. Go to studentofthegun.com to find everything SOTG. All right, ladies and gentlemen, but what time is it? It's Merry Ho Ho time, Black Rifle Christmas. And uh, what we've got going right now uh, from the guys at Brownells. Um, am I, is my audio coming through uh, well enough, Zach? Are you, are you good? I'm happy with it. You're happy with it? Okay. So uh, it, it's funny. They did a staff picks for the holidays. So they, they queried their staff and they said, hey, Brownells staff. What would you recommend as gifts for our people out there? And the Brownell staff said, well, I think. And the first one, this is funny because I didn't know this was about to happen. The first one is Magpul ugly Christmas sweaters and beanies. Huh. <laughs> so that was the first staff recommendation. Uh, 
Uh, another one, and I didn't know this was going to happen either, be Dixon Flannel, the official Brownells tagged Dixon Flannel shirts, which I was just wearing one of uh, the other day. On sale? I need to get. Oh, oh snap. Nice. They are on sale. And this is a different color than the one I have. I like that. Yeah, nice. Oh, I do they have the over. XL tall? Do they have the XL tall, XL tall, XL tall, large? Yep, they do. They have the extra large tall because that's for people with gorilla arms. If you got the long arms, and I showed Jared this yesterday, and when were we talking? Was it, was it on the radio Thursday? I was wearing my flannel, and they're so smart that they built in a glasses cleaner into the into the tail of the shirt. So if you're wearing one of their flannels, you always have a eyeglasses cleaner. And that is super cool. for someone that wears glasses all the time, that is a very important option to me, and I appreciate that. So if we, we put the link in the show notes for you guys. So, uh, it's the Holiday Gift Center from Brownells, and there's some of the recommended staff picks. And, of course, you know, there's, uh, there's the other obvious stuff, like lower receivers and, and slides and scopes and magazines and, you know, all that stuff. But I thought the cool things were like, you know, the, the Christmas sweaters and the beanies, and, and they're all on sale right now. They're actually in stock on sale. Right now, uh, the Dixon, the Dixon uh, tagged flannels uh, are in stock and on sale right now. Uh, so get them while the getting is good. That's what you should do. Get them while the getting is good. Uh, it, it, you guys ain't have anything else to add to that? I think it's just it's just fun holiday stuff. And yeah, I, I mean, who would be who would be not happy to receive a high quality Dixon flannel shirt? with the brown L's tag on it i i don't know i i, I like it it's awesome. i would I've, I've i would think it'd be a great material. it's great yeah they're 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 great so they're like tony the tiger man they're great there we go so uh zach you can go ahead and play the next bump if you want shop sotg.com is the perfect place to go if you are a student of the gun whether you want to expand your brain increase your marksmanship or help keep your family safe. All that, plus the Pimp Hand brands that you love. ShopSOTG.com has almost anything that an American patriot would want. Education, enlightenment, and entertainment, and we're open 24-7. Check out ShopSOTG.com today and see for yourself. Yes, indeed. Yes! And That's what you should do. Yeah, And just a quick little uh, reminder to all y'all, or not reminder, but to letting you know, uh, over on shopsotg.com right now, uh, our Pocket Lifesaver line of kits are now going to go back to having the colorful tourniquets in them. So yay! For a oh, while, wow. we've uh, there's been a supply issue, so we've only had black. But now, if you want an orange tourniquet in your enhanced kit or a red tourniquet in your combat kit, boom, there we go. Bob's I mean, your uncle, there you go. No matter what color it is, they all work the same. But hey, at least it's, it's, right. it's aesthetics. It looks nice. Let me let, let's let's do something real quick. Let's address something real quick. Uh, someone recently told me that they went to a firearms training school and at the firearms training school, they brought up the use of tourniquets. And the person that was talking about the use of tourniquets at this firearms training school said, well, the rats are out there and they exist. But if you use one, it's going to cause nerve damage. No. It's not. Where did that information come from? Is it came it, from North American Rescue and their hack campaign against Did it turn actually cause nerve damage in the early days? And or? that's what I would say is... Where did it come from? Where's I would like to see... And I told the person who said that to me, I said, ask them where the... For the, the actual medical report on the nerve damage caused by that. Of course... If you do that, they're like, and they're like, well, no, because because if you use 550 cord for a tourniquet, it'll cause nerve damage. It's like, OK, but it's not 550 cord. So so what are you saying here? Well, but North American Rescue said. Um, here's the deal. First of all, they're like, no, it has to be one to one and a half inches wide. Well, if you take the the TK4, not TK4, uh, the rat tourniquet, the rats, 
the uh, rapid action tourniquet or whatever they want to call it now, and you apply it as the manufacturer tells you to, it will be spread out at least an inch and a half, if not two inches. So if you actually follow the instructions, you don't have to worry about it. And second of all, when you hear this kind of crap, understand this. There are some people in the world, believe it or not, that rather than promote the value of their product, instead, they, their marketing scheme is, I'm going to attack my competition and spend all my time talking about how crappy my competition is rather than how good my product is. And I've seen this for, well, my entire adult life. Uh, there, there's the, the options. You know, when, when the, the, uh, when Blackhawk took the holster world by storm, there was a company out there that rather than promote the, the, uh, positive aspects of their product, instead, what they did is they went out, they taught their salespeople how to make the Blackhawk holster fail. All right. So that is my helpful hint for you consumers. If you, uh, you can, uh, if you hear someone, if they're trying to tell you, if they're trying to convince you to buy their product by telling you how terrible the competition is rather than how good theirs is, red that flag. is it's a red flag. That would be a, a, a warning for you. Sus. Yeah. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump into student of the gun homeroom brought to you by our good buddies at crossbreedholsters.com. All right. And what, what are we all about here? Crossbreedholsters.com. Uh, we're all about uh, soon to get home being dangerous on demand. Uh, yes. So Crossbreed is running a seven days of deals. This tis the season. So we're doing the advent calendar giveaway. They're doing seven days of deals. Uh, if you go over to the Crossbreed Holsters website, Wait. don't might be over by the time this episode drops oh oh it might be over. they're on day four of seven right meow oh right meow yeah so well either way you should always go yeah, there go there yeah. and check it and check it did Trust you ever get any feedback from our audience as to whether or not they would buy a custom shop logoed student of the gun holster um i haven't checked since i asked oh well there you go so, so you do that chances are you you did but use the promotional code SOTG when you check out at crossbreedholsters.com. And as always, they are good people. They've been with us since the very beginning. And you want to make sure that you thank them when, if, whenever you get the opportunity. Whenever you get the opportunity. All right. So uh, uh, I titled this is, if you shoot these fornicators, this will stop. Like, uh, How are we going to stop this? How are we going to stop this? Well, maybe shoot these fornicators. When, when the, these evil, monstrous people realize that their behavior is going to cause them serious physical harm, they might stop doing that. But until then, it's just going to suck to be you, I guess, Southern California. So we got a story here from the yahoonews.com, and it's, it's forwarded from the Hill. Violent... I hate the world that we live in. We need to fix this world, people, and it ain't going to fix itself. Violent, quote, bank jugging robberies are on the rise. Jared. California police sworn. Okay, Jared, you go ahead and give us the details. This is from December 7th, so it's a brand new story. Police are warning the public amid a spike in violent bank jugging robberies across Southern South California. Uh, Southern California as a holiday's approach. Bank jugging involves thieves staking out potential victims in bank parking lots and then following them to their next destination to rob them. Popular shopping centers are prime areas for suspects searching for their next target. They're dangerous crimes. These are. Yep. These are dangerous Lieutenant crimes. Derek Green with the Burbank Police Department. That's what he told KTLA. The crime is usually when a group of people follow unsuspecting victims to a bank and wait for them to withdraw a large amount of cash. Once the victim leaves the bank, they follow them to their intended destination. Is this new? Yeah. Police say that this type of organized robbery is nothing new. There you go. 
There you go. They just have a new term for it now. Yeah, it's bank jugging. You usually have somebody driving. A, where did the term jugging come from? I don't know. Because it was, I just saw it pop up this year. Uh, Maybe it's been around for a minute. Know. I don't know. You usually this have somebody world, driving, this world a means tra- I driving a vehicle. Oftentimes, you have somebody that's actually inside the bank posing as a customer themselves, and they're in communication with each other. So they're keeping close eyes on their victims. So they're highly organized. You know how you stop this? Surveillance video. With surveillance video. No. No? Surveillance video captured a bank jugging incident in Los Angeles, Sherman Oaks neighborhood this past July. You stop this the way Jeff Cooper, I think it was Jeff Cooper, said to stop it. The only time that... The, the only way cr- crime can be curbed is by the victim. Yeah, the, when the criminal, the attacker, is afraid of the victim. Yep. It's the only way. A customer is seen walking out of a Wells Fargo bank with a bag containing $10,000 in cash. Two suspects, a gunman and a getaway driver, had pulled into the parking lot awaiting his exit. As the victims walk or as the victim walks to his car, a suspect is seen running toward the victim and confronting him with a handgun. So the victim pulled out a gun and shot him. No. Nope. Okay. The victim runs no. and hops over a small concrete wall before falling down and tossing the money in the air. The suspect is seen scooping up the cash before running off. Police say these types of violent robberies, both bank jugging and follow home robberies, are becoming increasingly common. Mm-hmm. Now, the the exact question. quote. Go ahead. This, okay. this is a ridiculous thing. Hilda Avanesian, who is, I'm not sure who this is, but it's a person that says, I don't take my entire wallet or my purse with me. I just take a small credit card and put it in my pocket and walk into the bank and walk out. I'm afraid because I don't know who is coming from behind. That is a ridiculous thing that a, a good person has to do because they're so afraid that they're going to be robbed. How do you get to this point? You keep electing Democrats, you idiots. Customers seen purchasing luxury handbags and jewelry or people who own jewelry businesses are also being targeted and followed home. Does that mean criminals are getting smarter? No. No, they're just more opportunistic and they're bolder. They're more bold because they know they're not going to get punished. So this is the exact quote from Jeff Cooper. He said, quote, if violent crime is to be curbed, it is only the intended victim who can do it. The felon does not fear the police and he fears neither judge nor jury. Therefore, what he must be taught is to fear his victim. Every time you hear the media the politicians talking about oh the crime oh the crime and we got to do something about crime like well what are you going to do about it oh we need more money for the police department and we need more surveillance cameras and we need more and we need gun control you could confront them with this and you could say well is this or is this not true do thieves fear the police no they don't do they fear the judge and the ju- no when when you can rob a bank sign a piece of paper walk out the back door before the cop who arrested you is done filing his report they have nothing to fear democrats are a criminal's best friend and california you brought this on yourselves it's your fault and sorry not sorry this and all right so you say well how are people supposed to defend themselves in california when you're not allowed oh you mean when the when the democrat scumbag government has disarmed you yeah no i'm not defending. we need more we need more police yeah, i'm not defending that decision to disarm people quite the contrary however and in addition to that statement, it starts with mindset, right? It, the, the tools are the tools. Mm-hmm. If you don't have the mindset to defend yourself first, it doesn't matter what tool you have on your body. So yes. if, if you're listening to me and you end up being a jugging victim, it's so weird to say. It's okay. If you're a victim of jugs. So gay. It's super gay. I like it's to be like a victim of jugs. gayer than truck nuts. So, um, Anyway, if you if you find yourself a victim and you're in California and you, you choose not to carry a handgun because you're in California, 
you can still fight. You're not that. allowed. You still have the mind. It's the thing. The one thing that cannot be taken from you is your mind. Well, the thing is that it has been taken from them because they keep no. They keep allowing. They keep allowing Democrats to be reelected. They're being controlled by Sacramento. Yeah, they still have them. Sacramento they controls can, them like slaves. Shoes. And they've chosen yes. to be slaves. Yes. A choice is a choice is a choice. So that you've chosen to be slaves and it's your own fault. And I don't feel sorry for you, but I'm reporting the facts as they are. And of course, you know, the police are like, well, what you need to do is be extra cautious and no, no, no. That's not how functioning societies work. If, if you're if you're constantly looking over your shoulder and you're, you're, you're if you're organizing your life based on the fact that you're going to be robbed or you're afraid, that is not how a functioning society works. Yeah, but what you try to get that's people not to do, the solution. What you try to get people to do is carry a gun and you only carry a gun if you think you're going to be attacked. So why are you saying that you shouldn't live your daily life? as if you're going to be attacked yeah okay you I'm guys done, only I'm, have, I'm done talking to you yeah humans only have so much mental bandwidth and if you spend a lot of your time during the day in condition yellow or above uh i'm sorry condition what's the next one orange orange red white white yellow orange uh orange or above mm. then you're affecting your ability to dedicate that mental space to something else that could be improving your life and the life of your community um, it's that's one of the things that's actually one of the reasons I said what I said about our ancestors and and us not doing what we can to improve society in the for the future is a massive detriment and it's no we're doing the exact opposite it's very disrespectful to our ancestors because it used to be back in I don't even know when it's hundreds of years ago that you had to be on high alert all the time because there were things that were trying to kill you all the time and there might still be to in today's day and age, but mm -hmm. it's, it seems to be more rare than it used to be. And so our ancestors went through this time where they had to be on high alert all the time, and they still were able to dedicate the mental space to give us the society that we have today. All right, moving on. Uh, we've got to this. We had to go all the way across the big pond to get this story from the Daily Mail dot co dot uk. Now, if you guys did not listen to the uh, to the previous episode where we talked about how the uh, how they the the woke democrat scumbags in in philadelphia they're they're not blaming the soft on crime da they're not blaming the democrat mayor no it's the gas station industry that's at fault for all of these gas station robberies and attacks so well, one Philadelphia gas station owner decided, you know what? I've had enough of this crap. And this is the story. Philadelphia gas station owner hires security guards armed with AR-15s and dressed in Kevlar vests to protect his store after it's repeatedly ransacked in crime-ridden Dimled City. That title was from the Daily Mail. .co .uk. .co .uk. Um, first thing is that I have to say is that this is not an AR-15 that that security guard is carrying. It is a Tavor. It's a Tavor. It's an Israeli Tavor. Not every black rifle is an AR-15. So yes, it is. Come on, guys. Every magazine, every rifle that has a magazine thing and a folding chainsaw bayonet. All the stuff. Yeah, it's an AR-15. Uh, Neil Patel is the owner's name. Man, wow, it's actually literally ransacked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to scroll through so many pictures to get uh, the story. It's ridiculous. But, uh, Why do they do this? Yeah, uh, it's the... They actually, oh, in the middle what? of the day, oh. broke into his thing and drug the ATM out of the front door. The owner of Philadelphia gas station has hired security team armed with AR-15s, shotguns, and decked out in Kevlar vests as he fights to combat the city's ongoing crime crisis. Neil Patel, who is pictured, who oversees a cargo gas station in North Philadelphia, said he hired state site agents to protect his employees and customers after several incidents several recent incidents during which his store was ransacked patel told local fox outlet that criminals are forcing us to hire security high level security state level we are tired of this nonsense 
robbery, drug trafficking, hanging around gangs, he added. The small business owner said that he was recently pushed to hire the security team after a group of young people vandalized his business and stole his ATM. The entire ATM. Yeah, he says his whole car has machine. also been damaged by area criminals. Dell mm-hmm. shared pictures and footage of a ransacked store, hooded criminals dragging the ATM machine out of the store, and his car with slashed tires and a smashed window. Most local residents and neighbors of Patel and his station said that they supported Patel's decision to staff up with visibly armed security. Local resident Corey Berry said that she supports the owner in his decision to bring the security team, adding that she is sympathetic to individuals who live in a bad area and are just trying to get gas without confronting criminal danger. <laughs> One resident said that he proposed Patel, he opposed Patel's decision, saying that he didn't like the idea of children encountering large guards who are armed to the teeth. Oh, he didn't like the idea of children, uh, the, but he, he'd rather um, encounter gangbangers. Yeah, Patel said that he understands the concern, but the, the response is motivated by criminals who are also armed. Okay. We need more gun control. I listened to them, but violent people, they carry the guns. I fear for the safety of my employees as well as his customers. Hmm. Pennsylvania SITE state agents can be hired as private armed security for events and businesses. Uh, SITE, I don't know what that stands for, but something. Security something. In the hood. In the hood, yeah. In the- Chief Andre Boyer said that Pictured. his team wears Kevlar and they are trained. My guards go to training every other week. They're proficient with guns and with their taser. They know the law. We have a right to protect this property by any means necessary and whatever force necessary to be used to protect it. Is it a taser or a stun gun? Uh, it's a taser. Despite what they actually look like, they're pretty well put together. Yeah, but nah, okay. Uh, from the picture that I saw, yeah. despite what may have in previous time seemed like a drastic measure, Patel says his business has not had any run-ins with lawbreakers since he beefed up his security presence. Yeah, because yeah, because bad they, guys don't like because don't want to be shot with right. rifles. Yeah, because the victims they have to fear their victim. Okay, this dude right here with the, with the how do I know that this dude with the the Tavor is not highly trained? Is he doing the, the way, thing where he's wearing the, it the way they like hold the gun? Yeah, they're it. not controlling. It. Yeah, the way they control it. You can. Uh, James Yeager said, and he said, you can tell immediately someone's skill level by how they handle a firearm, how they pick it up and how they handle it. You can tell immediately. But earlier this year, Philadelphia police appeared, uh, appealed to the city's mayor, Jim Kenny. And what did Kenny have to say? Uh, I'm back to it. Oh, okay. Uh, violent, that's not that one. Violent crime as a whole is up about 3% year to date in Philadelphia. Is this the thing? It was already huge. It was already high. Philadelphia crime surge 23% since this time last year. That's huge. Robberies have skyrocketed 36.7% during the last year in the city's liberal leadership contends with how to confront the crime crisis. It's not, well, it is up to them because they have been elected to um, to protect the the city. Right, but it's also up to individual business owners to protect their businesses and individual citizens to protect themselves and their families. But what Earlier this year, yeah. Philadelphia police appealed to the city city's mayor Jim Kennedy. I'm sorry, Jim Kenny. Pictured, he looks like an interesting individual. I love how they, like when you when a news story picks a picture, they pick the picture based upon how they want to portray the person. Yeah, it's pretty funny, um, but. They appealed to the city's mayor, Jim Kinney, that they can't keep up with the rapidly rising homicide rate. And the mayor on Monday signed an order that will ban citizens from carrying guns in public places like parks and schools. Yeah, that's going to help. That's going to stop the criminals because citizens are not allowed to carry guns in public parks and schools. And and na, 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 na. the crisis of lawlessness in Philadelphia has become so dire that the city's district attorney, progressive Larry Krasner, is currently facing an impeachment trial 
Early yeah, he's a month, scumbag. State legislators voted to impeach Krasner over progressive pl- policies that have contributed to the vast rise in crime in Philadelphia. You mean like catch and release? In a near party line vote, state assembly members voted 107 to 85 to move ahead with what would be the state's first impeachment trial in 30 years. How do you want that? How do you want to you want to be that person that's like that was my accomplishment? I was the first one to trigger an impeachment trial in 30 years. Mm. Yeah. State Republicans, whose majority shrank by one seat this year, will need the support of at least some state Democrats, um, some state Senate Democrats, in order to attain the two-thirds majority vote necessary to remove Krasner. Well, so, if, you're, if you live in that area and you're listening, you probably need to uh, contact your representatives. And if you don't like your the way this scumbag Democrat representatives, his policies, then it's time to... Uh, Tell your people that, hey, this is what we want because they're there to represent you. Yeah. Well, are they really, though? Well, they feel so, enough pressure. Yeah. The, uh, they, they tend to lean the way that the pressure is pushed. Well, see, it used to be back in, in, in the old America when if politicians feared that they were going to lose their seats, lose their cool, comfy jobs because they were going to get voted out, then they would change their ways. But what do we know? They don't have to be afraid of that anymore. They don't have to be afraid of being voted out anymore because they figured out how to rig the election system. They figured out how to rig the process. They just elected a literal, not figurative, a literal mongoloid in in Pennsylvania. They elected, well, the, the vote machines and the absentee ballots elected a mongoloid that can't string together two sentences. That's another thing I need a dissertation written about. So one side or the other. Come on, guys. Smart people. I don't I don't need a dissertation. My eyes are open and I see what happens. Yeah, but we we, and I've lived for 50 years and I've seen the change. Yeah, but you're one person. We have so of thousands of listeners that we could present that too. It's like, here's the dissertation. I don't, I don't need With a dissertation. Of, I see what's going yeah, on. We don't care about what you need. We care about what our listeners need. So why do our listeners need that? Their eyes don't work. Their brains don't function. They're, they might be new to the concept. We have a lot of younger people. To the concept say. of right and wrong? No. They, of they impossibility? Yeah, no. Uh, Your job is to instruct and teach people. Yeah. So what you have in your brain doesn't matter unless mm. you share it with others. Yeah, okay. I've been doing that for 10 years. Well, and and I can't come to your house and you hold can. your hand. You can. No. You just choose not to. No. A choice. I, I a can't choice come to your house and hold your hand. It, it, if you if you're not listening, then that's not my fault. Yeah. You. So have to. Uh, you have to hey, let me enough, finish this show. For enough time and money, we'll come to your house. Yeah. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, and children of all ages, uh, if you've been paying attention, so first you have the the liberal scumbag Democrats who say that it's the gas station's fault. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, for not taking the crime problem seriously. Well, now they're taking crime problem seriously. And yeah, and so they're now they're taking crime problem seriously. Just wait. Just wait for uh, one of these security guards to smoke a joker. Some, some gangbangers show up and they get smoked. They'll be like, you can't just let people shoot criminals and that's not how we solve the problem. It's the police's job. Yeah, but the police already told you that they can't keep up. They told you, they're like, we can't keep up with the crime because we arrest people and the scumbag DA refuses to charge them and they just let them go. And they know that these teens that are robbing these stores, they know they're not going to be punished. So why should they, what, what impediment is there for them to not do it? You're reaping, you know, this whole thing is, it it is insane. You should not have to have armed commandos at gas stations. You shouldn't have to have that. But that's what you get from progressivism. That's what you get from liberalism. That's and and Democrats are one in the same. Democrats are not American constitutionalists. They're scum. Okay. And until you wrap your brains around this, like "Ah, Republicans are no better. 
If you say that, get out of my audience. Go fornicate yourself. Okay? You, you get this this moral uh, you know, equivalency thing. Oh, Democrats and Republicans are all the same. No, they're not. The 10 most dangerous crime-ridden cities in America all run by Democrats. Not a coincidence. Not a coincidence. The 10 most onerous, the 10 states in America that locked people in their homes, that sent the Stasi out to parks and beaches to arrest people for the crime of walking on a beach. The crime of being in a park. Those states were not run by Republicans. They were run by Democrats. Wake up, people. Wake up. And so, but someone asked me, they're like, well, what are we supposed to do? You know what you're supposed to do. What is the recourse left to the citizen when their vote no longer matters? To vote more? What are you going to do when your vote no longer matters when it doesn't matter who you vote for it doesn't matter how hard you campaign where do you go from there you got to answer that question for yourself you're supposed to be a grown adult educated in the united states of america we have a constitution we have a bill of rights there's a book that explains it all. It's called The Political Thought of the American Revolution. If you haven't read it, you're wrong. We've only been talking about it for what? Five, six, seven years now? Ladies and gentlemen, we, we can't keep pretending that everything else is someone else's responsibility. That's how we got here. We got to this position where we have to have armed commandos at gas stations because the people of the United States have defaulted and they've allowed other people to, well, they'll, those other people will keep me safe. Those other people will watchdog the government. There's other people will keep politicians honest. No, they, they don't. Other people don't keep politicians honest. Other people don't stop criminals. Other people don't do anything. You've abdicated your duty as a citizen because someone told you that you don't have to. You were convinced that it was no longer your responsibility as a citizen to even be worried about any of that stuff. And the situation we find ourselves in today is a direct result of that and uh you y'all better find jesus y'all better come to god um because it's not going to get any better hoping and praying and, and and you're like someone else really needs to fix this problem yeah someone else does that someone is you philadelphia that's where will smith was born and raised but he got out he, he went to California so he could get jugged on the way from home from the bank. I want to be jugged. Uh, all right. That's it. Cat in the hat and that be that. Buster Rhyme. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for much. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, like I said at the very beginning, uh, we had some stellar. We had some stellar grad program conversations this last week. Uh, if you missed out on them, uh, well, sorry. But the good news is, Jared, what's the good news? If someone joins the grad program today, can they go back and listen to the previous grad program episodes? Yeah, they get access to all of them. There Every single last episode that we've ever done in the history of ever. In the history of ever, yeah. So uh, if, if you joined, the, you're like, well, it's too late. I missed that stellar conversation. Well, no, actually, if you go to uh, getsotg.com, sign up, become a grad program member, you can go back and you can listen to all that goodness. And let's face it, 
um, during this holiday season, you're going to want to put in your earbuds or your earphones and go sit quietly and, and listen to the melodic tones of my voice uh, while the family argues in the living room over cranberry sauce or whatever. All right, ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, thank you very much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, we're going to be dark the week of uh, th- of Christmas going into New Year's, whatever. I am i don't know what day Christmas is this year. It's just one of those things. But uh, we will be dark. That is, uh, that is um, theater talk for uh, you need to listen to the best ofs. You get nothing. You get nothing. No, that's right. All right, until we're together again, remember, you're a beginner once, you're a student for life. We appreciate your reviews. If you haven't left a review or updated yours recently, head on over to Facebook, iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, or your favorite podcast player to voice your opinion. Don't forget to join us at The Student Lounge, a place for like-minded individuals to learn, connect, and support each other. No chicanery will be tolerated. Remember to check studentofthegun.com daily for new, free content and giveaways. Watch, listen, read, shop, and connect at studentofthegun.com. Are you a social butterfly? Connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for new content each and every day at Student of the Gun. Watch Student of the Gun TV and videos from our trusted partners on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Chromecast, and even AirPlay. Go to studentofthegun.com for direct links. And remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.